Guys, what's up? I started doing this in a Ruby Chibi video, and then I figured, hey, I should just make a video about it, I guess, because it's the new year! I don't have a horn. Toot toot. Um. <laughs> holidays are a thing. I'm going back to school, and I don't know when this will be up, so I'll probably actually be already back at school by the time this is up. But, so I may be a little bit less active on social media, but I did want to give you guys, like, a huge thank you. Just kind of talk about, um, 2017 a little bit and how much of it was affected by you guys because um 2017 had a lot of ups and downs for me it was lots of really high highs and lots of really low lows um we started off really low <laughs> i'm not gonna go into details because it's really personal but it started off really low like really low and um but it just like i got these amazing moments that ultimately made the year tolerable and honestly i think it made it kind of like a good year for me which was interesting considering everything was stacked against it um like i got to meet sean and geo from uh rt i met them through my school and they were really sweet and they're awesome people which was so cool so like just getting to talk to them alone was really awesome and i got to talk to all of you guys like i got to i set up discord with help from zach and i got closer with zach too uh because we had known each other from kim's stream and just gotten to kind of like, the headphones are falling, kind of just op like s talk to more people, which was interesting. And then my channel got like a lot of popularity, which was really weird. I wasn't expecting it. Like, I think I woke up one day and I had a comment from Jen Brown and a comment from Neith Ohm, and I was like, <sighs> it, it was. It was just surreal, and it's it's still very surreal. Every time that I post something and just people comment on it, it's like, I can't wrap my head around the fact that people like to watch my content and like to watch me. Like, I'm someone who, I didn't talk like at all growing up. I wasn't social, I'm still not that social. I don't know how to deal with people. So it's very weird having people be like, oh yeah, I wanna talk to you. It's like, you know I don't know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> you, you guys know that, right? I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, like, you guys have always been, like, really encouraging. Like, if I, I have my art Twitter, I'll post, like, hey, I don't like how this turned out, but here it is. And it's like, oh, you know, like, it's good. It's turning out good. You're making progress. And that's what ultimately what 2017 was. It was a year of progress. Um, once I got back from class, I had, uh, from school, I had completed some of the best work I think I've done, traditionally speaking. Um, I'll, I guess, flash some of it up here. It's just some traditional work, usually with, like, sanguine or charcoal. And I was really proud of myself for having going because I've only been drawing since um, spring break of my freshman year of high school. So I have not been drawing very long. I've been drawing for like five, almost five years. That That's it. And that's something that I'm very insecure about because I look at my art and I'm like, I don't have a style. I don't know what I'm doing. This isn't where it should be. I should be farther along because I follow a lot of artists who are like 17 and who got like $60,000 scholarships to really big name art schools. And I'm like, I can't, I can't draw a leg. Um, so that, that that was just honestly like this year, and I got a lot of praise from you guys, which was really surreal though, something that I think I really needed at the time. Um, it was just really nice kind of getting that support, and then RTX honestly was kind of intimidating for me, it was kind of rough, because uh, the last RTX I had gone to, I had gone with some friends, who are some friends that I am no longer in contact with unfortunately. So like I never put up the RTX 2016 videos, because editing it was really painful for me honestly, I was like, this hurts. These are memories of people that I cared about that no longer share those same feelings. Um, so I never put them up. So I was kind of worried about RTX and the, like those feelings. And some things happened beforehand that were ultimately, were, were kind of going to happen eventually and it just kind of peaked at that point. And then RTX was completely surreal. Like I think that's probably RTX as a whole was like my, my favorite part of the year, which was so surreal because I got to hang out with all these amazing people. Um, I got to do something really cool that I'm not going to talk about because I can't talk about it. Hashtag non-disclosure recruitment. <laughs> and I got to go to the VIP party uh, and like actually be in the employee section, which was absolutely surreal. Um, like it was just like I know that these are like regular people. That's always like some like that's not like I wasn't like oh my god you're a real person. It was just kind of like hey you make something that I like. And I want to thank you for that, but how do I thank you for making something really cool without sounding like a creeper? Like, it was a lot of fun. I really just kind of sat in the corner drinking soda talking to a couple people. But it, it was really cool, and like, Erin and Zach actually recognized me because uh, I had met her at Phoenix Comic Con a couple years ago, and we had bonded over the spelling of our name, like my 
Blake's or I'm not gonna move it down because otherwise everything's gonna fall. Um, when she got the little slip to sign my name, she was like, are you shitting me? And it was like, yeah, it's the same spelling, it's terrible. But, um, and like she had been in one of my stream once and she recognized me at the VIP party and I was kind of like, what? You're Aaron Zek. You're the alpha Aaron. At the, I was, I wasn't even 18, was I 18 at the time? Yeah, I was, I wasn't even 19 then, I was almost 19. And I was like, I'm an 18 year old sophomore art school pleb. And you're doing things with your life, and you know who I am. Which was just sort of, I remember like texting someone going, What? Just happened. But I got to talk to like a lot of people on Groovy who I followed on Twitter for a long time and who follow me, and they're just really cool. And that's honestly what I did for most of RTX was I got to hang out with my friends like um, Zach, and I got to talk to Groovy a lot, which was awesome. Because like, you know, that is that is my industry, that is my major. I'm an animation major with a double minor in storyboarding and concept art for animation and video games. So it was really interesting, like, going to panels that I've gone to before in the past, like the Ladies of RT Animation panel, and being like, oh, hey, like, how have you been? It's been a while, and just, it was just a really surreal experience. But honestly, like, even beyond all that, I think the most startling thing was that you guys went up to me, actually. Like, that was something I wasn't expecting. Was I remember like the first day of registration, I was hanging out with Arnold like because we were trying to meet up, and he was like, "Wait, where are you?" I'm in, and I was like, "I'm getting registration." It's like, "I don't see you," and it's like, "Oh right, you're getting VIP registration." I have no money, um, but like we got to meet up and we were taking high, and someone came up to me and was like, "Hey, you're you're Aaron, right? You're puns of damage, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, hi." And they were like, "Oh my!" They they were he was freaking out. He was really excited. And he was saying that like he was a huge fan, was like so excited to take a picture with me, and he would like apologize for being like really excited. And it's like, I should be apologizing to you. I don't know how to. I like wasn't sure how to respond. I was kind of like, it's like part of my brain just doesn't realize like like won't acknowledge that like the views that show up at the bottom are people, <laughs> like that those are real people who I can interact with at one point. So it was really surreal at RTX having someone come to, like having more than one person come up to me. But at least at first having someone come up to me going like, hey, I watch your videos, I love your videos, can I get a picture with you? And I'm like, I'm not in cosplay. I just got off an airplane. I'm like dirty and tired and you still want a picture with me? <laughs> like it, it was just, it was the sur it was the most surreal feeling. Especially for someone like who's dealt with anxiety and isolation and depression, like, which are things that I'm very open about. Especially more so now on this channel, but it's just like, it's very weird having people go up to you and kind of give you that, oh man, like, I'm glad to see you, when like your whole life your mental health is like, no one wants you here. So like, that, I think that's like my main problem is like why it's just like so surreal for me. But like, it just like, it kept happening and like, I'll put up the pictures that I have because I saved a lot of them from Twitter, but like, people kept going like, hey, you're Aaron, or like, hey, you're Puns of Damage, and I was like, this is, it was so cool and so surreal, like, it just gave me such a strange feeling. But it's a good feeling, because one of my ultimate goals in life is to create something that ultimately affects people. I want to create something, be it a YouTube channel, or art, or a comic, or a show, that ultimately reaches out to at least one person out there who may not be happy with their life, who may not be comfortable with themselves, and kind of give them this feeling of, hey, this happens. It's okay to feel like this. But just because you feel like this doesn't mean that this is you. Like, there, there is more to you than this. You can do more than this. Like, you matter. I want to create something that kind of gives that feeling. So just having anyone even respond to me like, hey, I watch your stuff. It's like, oh, and like people will say really nice comments that like, my videos, when, they put, when I put them up, like it makes their day or it improves their day. Just like, even little things like that. It's like, that's something I've always wanted to do. Like, I can't be a superhero, I can't jump off buildings, I can't fight off monsters, but... If I can make people's days better through just me talking to a camera watching a show that I love, then that is the best thing that I could ever ask for. And I want to thank- I'm actually tearing up! I want to thank you guys for giving me that feeling. Um, and for letting me kind of work to accomplish that dream. And it's just, it's really cool to meet you guys, and it was just, like, RTX is always the highlight of my year, but this year especially was just absolutely amazing. Because it was just, it just felt really validating. And I wish I could have done more to interact with people and talk to more people, but I was going panel to panel to panel to panel. But I just want to thank you guys, because, like, this channel is only, like, two years old, I believe. 
I think I started at like December 21st, 2015 when I put up that first Ruby AMV. It only got like 50 views or something. But I remember like, I was so proud of that. And it's grown from that into like adding gameplay with um, a friend of mine. And it moved on to me having, from streaming, not regularly, but as much as I can, and putting up these videos. And it's kind of evolved into this thing, and it couldn't be here without you guys. And I don't think that I would really either be who I am without you guys. I am a lot stronger than I used to be, and I think a lot of that is because you guys have given me the courage and the strength to say, No, this is who I am. I'm not going to settle and let you change change who I am. I will be me, and I will try to do the, my very best to make sure that other people can be them as well. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support and almost, like, almost 11k of you, which is r ridiculous. And I can never honestly thank you guys enough for that. So I don't know how to end this video, <laughs> but um, I hope that I can continue to give you guys the kind of content that you want, the kind of content that makes your day, even if I am busy doing my own things. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for helping my 2017 and helping me get through 2017 and ultimately making it so that overall the year has left some positive memories in my mind that will probably be with me forever. So thank you guys so much and I'm just gonna cut it there because I don't know what else to really say, um, but see you guys.